Paso County Health Department hopes to discover through a five-year study it has just begun. Deborah Hill has more. The El Paso County Health Department will conduct the study under a $600,000 grant from the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta. This is a first-time, one-of-kind study for the country. The health department was one of about a dozen agencies which bid on the contract. John Potterat believes it was awarded the study because of the reputation it gained on a similar study involving prostitutes and AIDS. The health department actually began gathering data the first part of May. The CDC wants to know primarily why some diseases seem to spread very slowly through the heterosexual community. The key, they think, is that people form social networks where they, their, beha their sexual behaviors and their drug using behaviors happen in discrete packages and there are subunits in each, in each community and they want to know how these subunits in the community of people that, sh that share sex or share uh, drugs are linked to the larger population and hence they'll be able to predict how fast, say, a new virus could uh, propagate through a population. Potterat says the information gathering process will likely last three years. The statistics will be compounded and evaluated for the study the last two years. He doesn't expect any major surprises to come out of the study. This is a, 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 a group of viruses that has a very difficult time being a very low efficiency transmission among heterosexuals, among people who don't have these behaviors. Um, but I think what we're going to be able to do is show why that is, both mathematically and sociologically, and I think that's going to be important. Podrat believes the information discovered can be used as both an informative and preventative measure to assist in fighting the spread of dangerous disease in this country. Deborah Hill, News Center 11.